Every religion talks about the end of the world. But Indian scriptures say something even more shocking. Nothing ends forever. Everything is born again. A moment comes when all planets, stars, galaxies, even gods, disappear. That moment is called pralaya, the cosmic reset. And today, we are going to explore this secret, how the universe ends and how it starts again. Imagine the whole universe is not a machine, not an explosion, but a breath. Ancient Rishi said, One day of Brahma is 4.32 billion years. Shockingly, today scientists say Earth is around 4.5 billion years old. The match is almost exact. This is not just a story. It shows how big one cosmic cycle is. They said, When Brahma exhales, the universe appears. When Brahma inhales, the universe collapses. This collapsing back into source, this silent ending, is pralaya. And here's the surprising part. There is not one pralaya. There are four types, each bigger and more intense. The first type, naimitika pralaya, small cosmic ending. This is not the end of the entire universe. Only one level of creation ends. Naimitika pralaya happens when Brahma's day ends, every 4.32 billion years. During this event, stars burn out, planets crash into each other, galaxies collide, the physical world disappears, but higher worlds, divine worlds, and souls remain safe. They simply go into a resting state, waiting for the next sunrise of Brahma. You can think of it like nighttime for the universe. The world sleeps, not dies. Modern science also agrees that stars and galaxies die in cycles. Supernovas, gamma ray bursts, black hole collisions. All of these happen exactly like the descriptions in the Puranas. Coincidence or ancient science? The second type, Prakritika Pralaya, full material collapse. This is bigger. Here, the entire universe ends. Not just planets, not just stars, but all matter. Everything made of the five elements, earth, water, fire, air, space, gets dissolved back into the original source. Science also talks about such an end. Some scientists call it the big crunch, heat death, entropy collapse, vacuum decay. In all these theories, matter breaks down into its most basic energy form. Ancient scriptures say the same thing. All forms melt back into nature. This is Prakritika Pralaya. The third type, Atyantika Pralaya, personal ending. This type of Pralaya is not about the universe. It is about you. Atyantika Pralaya happens when a soul finishes all its karma and becomes truly free. No rebirth, no cycle, no returning to earth again. In this state, the ego ends, the illusions disappear, and the soul experiences complete peace. This is the pralaya of an individual, the ending of personal suffering and confusion. It is not destruction. It is the most peaceful and beautiful beginning a soul can ever experience. The biggest, mahapralaya, total disillusion. This is the true end of everything, the moment when creation itself folds back into silence. In Mahapralaya, all universes collapse like sparks fading in the wind. Time stops, as if the cosmic clock breaks. Space disappears, leaving no direction, no distance. Even the great forces, Brahma, Vishnu and Rudra, merge back into the one supreme reality. Nothing remains, not darkness. Not emptiness, only pure consciousness, the silent infinite energy from which everything once arose. Interestingly, modern physics also speaks of such endings. If dark energy destabilizes, if the fabric of space tears, or if a new universe bubble forms, our universe could vanish in an instant. This is Mahapralaya, everything returning to the original source. 
How does pralaya happen? The scriptures describe pralaya like a slow, majestic movie of the universe shutting down. First, the oceans rise beyond imagination. Water climbs over cities, forests, and finally even the tallest mountains until the whole world becomes one endless sea. Then, the sun grows hotter and hotter as if seven suns appear in the sky filling everything with unbearable heat. Next comes the cosmic fire, burning not just forests or planets but the very elements themselves. Gigantic winds follow, winds so powerful they can tear apart planets and scatter stars. Then arrives a deep, absolute darkness where even the idea of space disappears. Finally, all creation melts back into pure energy, silent, calm, peaceful. This is Pralaya. But why does Pralaya happen? This is actually the most beautiful part of the entire story. Pralaya is not a punishment and it is not the end. It is a reset, just like the natural cycles we see around us. Every night, you sleep and wake up refreshed. Every year, seasons change, bringing new life. Even forests burn, only to grow back greener and stronger. Nature always cleans, rests and rebuilds. The universe is no different. Pralaya is the moment when creation takes a long, deep breath. A time when everything rests, heals and gathers new energy. Only after this quiet pause can a fresh universe be born again. It is not destruction. It is the universe preparing for a brand new beginning. What happens after Palaya? After the long, deep silence, after everything has become one single energy, creation slowly begins again. Hindu scriptures describe this in a beautiful, poetic way. From the silent void, a tiny vibration appears. That vibration turns into sound. The sound becomes Om, the first cosmic heartbeat. Om transforms into light and energy. Energy turns into matter. Matter becomes stars, shining in the empty darkness. Stars give birth to planets. Planets slowly evolve life. And once again, the cycle of the universe begins. Interestingly, modern science also says the universe may expand, collapse, and then start again in a new form. Our ancient scriptures had already spoken about this thousands of years ago. Most people think pralaya means destruction, but ancient texts say something surprising. Pralaya is the moment when truth becomes visible. When everything temporary ends, only the real remains. This happens in our everyday life, too. When a relationship ends, you discover who your true friends are. When ego ends, you feel real peace. When fear ends, your inner strength appears. Every small ending we face is like a tiny pralaya. It removes the illusion and shows us our true nature. So what does this story teach us? One day, this universe will end. But endings are not something to fear. Because every ending, big or small, opens the door to a new beginning. Even if the stars fall, even if worlds collapse, the energy called you never dies. You are older than the galaxies. You are older than time. You are a spark of the same consciousness that survives every pralaya. And that is the biggest secret. If you knew the universe would end one day, what is the one thing you would want to learn, experience or change before that moment? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more inspiring content. See you in the next one.